Hello there everyone, we're here to continue remember. Last time we found this little girl in this mansion and she has had a memory loss, so we're going to continue. Meow! Where the frick am I? Oh yeah, got the hammer. No, this is not where I... Oh yeah, now I remember. Good. It is all coming back to me now. Let's try this one. Looking at this box closely, it's made of something that can burn. Try begging with the hammer. It feels awkward breaking up other people's things, but... Well, I guess I should have said that much earlier. Obtain box pieces. Can we... Can we put... Wait a second. I really like the door sounds. Try breaking with the hammer? Nah. Well, try! The hammer fractured at its base. It appears that the interior is made of metal, but the outside resembles a material a small box is made of. This box, what to do with it? Take it along. Ooh, oh, yes, I need to carry it slowly. This is probably the normal walking, but I've been so used to running. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Go. I think we should burn this shed. Light a fire with this box pieces. Yeah. Lit the fireplace. There are no more matches. Fuck! This box can be burnt, right? Burn it. Insert the large-ish box into the fireplace. Oh, fuck. Can't take it back out while it's like this. Well, jeez. Nothing but water inside. This water can be probably used to put out the fireplace. Took the far water only flower waste. What? <laughs> Can't take it back while it's out like this. Yup! Suppress the fire. The box in exterior peeled off, revealing the metal portion what that was inside. Uh-huh. The screw seems removable with the driver. Remove them. The screws were removed and the box opened. Obtain the main hall key. Ooh. Music? Oh, there you go. Shit. Shit. Shh. Shh. I'm just gonna save. <laughs> oh my god. Bye. God damn it. Go. Open the lock. This place is. No mistake, the place where I first came. Then I should be able to get out from that door over there. Ooh. I don't need to save, I just saved. <laughs> Why won't it open? What are we supposed to do now, I say? Mew, please come down. Mew held on to my hand for me. It's alright. Surely there must be a way to out somewhere. She thinks. It's certainly true. We can't just get impatient right here. I'm always constantly the one being helped by this child. For now, how about looking around here a little more? Surely we'll find a clue for getting out of here. Right? Yes, that's right. I, if I simply lose heart here, it'll be impossible to get out of here while also protecting this child. Let's go then. Surely there must be another way us for, way for us to go. I am suspicious about that girl. A little bit. She is... This whole key seems usable for this door. Open the lock. She seems a little weird, 
Like she's, oh, please expect more. I get some kind of strange, strange feeling about this place. What do you mean? The atmosphere feels somehow different from before. Certainly, the interior design here is different from the other places. That's not it. It's, it's hard to explain, but stranger than anything before now. I don't quite understand, but it appears that the atmosphere here is different from anything before now. Mew may just be well attuned to sensing such things. Whatever the case, it seems like it'll be possible to avoid this place as we go forward. We need to get past here no matter what. Hmm. Ooh, it's a dining room. Huh, 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 huh. What is that? What are you? What is this, a doll? Mina, how hungry! A doll moving and talking? It's certainly, as Mew said, the atmosphere here is different, or rather, it feels far farther from reality than before. No more getting surprised like this. Hey, you over there, I'm hungry. Give me something. Was it talking about me? Is it all right to answer like a normal, I wonder? How? I mean, I don't have anything. Then make something and bring it over. There's definitely a refrigerator over there. Wah! <sighs> it understood what I said. Even if you tell me to make something, I can't cook at all, you know? Oh, uh, you're useless. If you won't give me food, then just leave. How insolent this doll, little doll. But I have to do something since it seems I like I can't just leave this fella here. Um, I can cook just a little. Oh, really? <coughs> You're seriously young lady? Do the thing, go make the thing. This fella's responses are really angersome. That thing, that thing, dessert, it had name like that. I don't know if I can make a dessert, but for now I'll try doing it. Goody, cause I will forgive you if you don't like it. If I don't like it, go make a pudding in all your effort. This guy sure demands unreasonable things. For now, perhaps I'll leave the cooking to Mew and I'll go find the ingredients. But there is ingredients on this table, you know, fruits. Isn't fruits okay? Dude. 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 Let's save. I think I can save on this because I haven't made anything different. Oh, she won't be with me any longer. Lined with tableware inside. Lined with tableware inside. A memo written in poor handwriting has been left here. How to make with... In hot water, remove its shell and break it slightly. Then, in order not to spill, wrap it in with ham and vegetables and it's done. The words have been blurred, making it unreadable here and in and there. It seems to be an often used memo. Lined with wine and beer bottles. Beer bottles. Beer bottles lined with wine. Nothing particular inside. Yep. Lined with few ingredients inside, what to take along? Bread, cornflakes, sugar, honey. If we're making a dessert, sugar? Oh! Wait a second, I probably need to talk to her. It doesn't seem like I have any particular problems when it comes to cooking. So please go choose the ingredients, okay? It doesn't seem like I have any... Okay. Do I put it... It's reasonably filled with ingredients inside. They're not rotten, are they? What's it take along? Have you brought the ingredients? Yes. Will it be fine with these ingredients? Then I'll go cook. Just wait a little, okay? 
I have no clue. I did it, but I'm not very confident. Obtained Mio's cooking. Well, I don't worry too much. Even if you fail, you're the only one who can cook now, Mew. Yeah. Then let's bring over the doll. I'm not gonna save because if I screw this up, I'm gonna load. Here, we've bought it. What took you so long, you idiot? I'm tired of waiting. This fella sure talks a little too much. Hey, hand over my food now. I might just die from hunger already. Hand it over the food. The doll is eating the food. No, this is not it! This is not what I wanted to eat! Game over. <laughs> oh my god. Really? How the fuck should I know from four ingredients? Ah, oh, let's try this one. I actually only changed the sugar to bread. Let, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. And let's go give it to that doll. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. The doll is eating the food. Oh! Oh! How delicious! First time I've eaten something as delicious as this! It seems to have fit its tasted. Or rather, I should at least remember that it had the name Sandwich. Lol. So, um. Young Wen, you're gonna be good wife someday! This is, thing is delicious! Somehow, being thanked like this still gives me a feeling of anger. Oh, I ate it, I ate it! Ah, oh, little lad, I'll give you this! Thanks for the meal! Oh! I received a sanctuary key. Seems like this guy does have some sensibility after all, despite being a doll and all. Then I'll be going to sleep, see ya! It disappeared. But what annoying a guy that was. But thanks to that, I was able to get a little distraction distracted from everything going. Even so, to be praised so much like that, you really do have cooking talent, don't you, Mew? Um, uh, maybe so? <laughs> now then, let's continue looking around. There isn't anything on this. Nope. I think I'll just save the game. To this, and we'll go searching for the sanctuary. Is it here? This doesn't look like a sanctuary, this is a bedroom. Eh -eh. Nothing stationary, among other things inside. Nothing of particular concern here. Really? Nothing here? Okay. Here? Another bedroom. So weird design and everything. <laughs> oh my god. The mirror is broken. Why do these things keep on breaking? I don't know, but that fucking scared the little shit out of me. I need to save the game because I don't, I'm not living through that heart, that heart attack yet again. Oh my god, my oh, it hurt! <laughs> like it physically hurt when that happened. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, is the sanctuary in here? Screw you, room. I put the volume up because the music was not so loud in the last one. Like it. You can really hear it, so that's why I'm even more spooked. What's this? I wonder about the door in the opposite side. Ooh. Yup. 
could this possibly be connected to the outside? Then we should be able to escape through here. It won't open, huh? But we can't just give in now. First, let's try search in other places. But... Sanctuary key... So it isn't this. Ooh! Ooh. Bibles and other religion-related books have been put here. Chandelier? Yeah, let's save. This... See yet another doll. This one probably also talks. Guess it's not all of them. Guess not all of them that talk. God damn it. I guess it really won't move. Then just what is this doll? The book to its aside. Its side has words being added, added to it. Return the light of the red moon. What's this supposed to mean? I guess in the end solving this puzzle will probably be a key going forward. This child is crying. Eh? Surely it wants to be helped by us. Say, let's try answering this kid's request. Though, I don't really want to get involved with this kind of thing. Well, I guess there is, doesn't seem to be any other way. I guess I'll just have to think about it. A red moon. What could that possibly mean? I have no clue. The holy symbol, the cross. Bibles and other religion books. However, why is that? Is it that only this bookshelf that has not been set in one of the room's corners? Can we push it? Can we push it? No. Uh huh. So, well, we don't have one in here. And we cannot just pull these. I thought that would be the puzzle, but I don't think so. Well, we'll figure it out. Let's go search other places. We cannot go to that room. Maybe there really was something in here. Otherwise, these rooms would be completely pointless. But there isn't anything in here. This mirror fragment might just be usable for something. Take it along. Okay! Obtained mirror fragment. Why didn't I inspect it earlier? I was like, ah! and went away. What about this? Give me something, give me something. Give me... Cellophane tapes and other stuff also inside. This thing here, isn't it usable? Take the tape along. We'll take it. Obtain cellophane tape. I don't know what it is, but I suspect it's something useful. It's it's cool that this game has really bad grammar because <laughs> I usually don't even get what the the real sentences mean, so it's cool by me. Let's save the game. Uh on top of this. Well, k k k a red moon, okay. Stained glass, deep purple rose pattern. Oh, so it means that! But this still bugs me. Bibles and other religion, yeah. However, yeah. Yeah. Why is it? Really? Looking carefully, there seems to be a gap in the wall around the bookshelf. Really? Move it. Th I tried to do this before! This bookshelf is quite heavy. You can do it. As expected, there was a hidden passageway behind the bookshelf. It's probably a storage room or something. 
Can I... Can I... Can I take this? Or something? Okay, let's just go in there. It's so dark inside, I can't see anything. Like this, I can't do anything. Let's go back and bring light with us. Hmm. I tried to do it. Well, if it's if it'll serve as light, anything is fine, I guess. I'll take this. Yeah, I'll take the candles along. Took the candles. It's fine. Ooh, I don't like it. I already hate it. The books have probably become unused being put in here. Bucket. Age shelves. It's all just dust inside. A folding ladder. With this I might be able to reach the stained glass. It's a little bulky, but bring it along. Yeah. This is bad. The fire will soon go out. Let's pick it. Go back out before it goes out. Oh no. What the fuck was that sound? What was that sound? I'm gonna save it. I don't trust this. Save it. So, let's go. Yeah. Try filling the missing portion with a mirror fragment. Fill in. I didn't even... Oh! Filling the missing portion with the fragment I held it in place with tape. It's a little misshapen, but I guess it's alright. After this, I just need to stain this fragment in red. Right? But... Uh, yeah... This book seems just right for reflecting off that mirror. It's a little creepy, so I don't really want to touch, but shall I take it along? That took the red book. Reflect at the cover of the book of the mirror. Gasp! Just as I think that it lit up for an instant, the stained glass returned to its original appearance. Even the material itself has changed. Anyways, let's try going in front of that doll. Sure! I'm gonna save it. Not trusting. Is it fine with this? Did a door open somewhere? I won't be surprised anymore with ju just this now. The red book beside it is again having words added. Thank you. Doll? No, dolls recently seem to be doing just about anything. It's smiling now, this child. Hmm? Surely it's joyous since we have helped him. Helped it. Though, when I'm told that, it doesn't feel bad. But we're dealing with a doll here. For now, at least, let's try seeing if there's been change anywhere. Save. <laughs> I don't trust this. Oh, fucking course. <laughs> Something slamming against the door. No way. This is bad, Mew. We need to run away. <gasps> Damn it! <sighs> Again! <sighs> Even though I thought it was no longer here, since I haven't seen it for a while. What? Huh? In any case, we need to take Mew along and run away. I'll need to take. Run, Mew! You look like a bear. <laughs> Did we manage to outrun that thing yet again? It appears not to be chasing us anymore. It's all right now, Mew. Mew? Hey, are you all right, Mew? 
Stay firm! <laughs> Mew? That is such bad translation. Well, I think I'll save it to... here. Episode 2. Change in scenery. Have you awoke? Oh! This place is? It's the room that opened a moment ago. It was a bedroom, so I thought to use it since we've come this far already. You carried me here for me? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry, but I couldn't just leave you lying down there like that. Uh, thank you, Fuyuaki-kun. Uh, yes. Since we now finally have the change, chance, let's rest a little more. But I... I'm also a little tired, so... I guess if you say that, Fuyuaki-kun... There is no safe point in here. Hey, Mew. What is it, Hoyaki-kun? I guess it really is scary, right? We see those kinds of things appear here and after all. It'd be a lie if I say I wasn't scared, but... For now, it's alright since you're here, Hoyaki-kun. I see. But... I guess, in th the end, it's difficult not having memories, right? Yeah. I see. I guess that'd be so. In truth, you see. I'm also missing memories. Eh? Though, even so, they're memories of times far in the past when I was little. Why? I don't quite know. I, why I don't have memories of the past. Even my father and mother also said they don't know. But the one thing I do remember, that these memories perhaps were forgotten through my own will. It f just feels that way, so I don't actually have any solid basis for believing this. But I think that when I forgot, I was like how you're like now, right right now, Mew. Is it scary how them forgotten like that? Well, if it's something I forgot on my own will, it's probably not such a great memory. So it's probably not something beyond my ability to remember, but if it's an unpleasant memory, I don't want to remember it. Is that so? But even so, I... think that... Even if it was a bad memory, I'd want to remember it. Mother, father, and everyone important. I wouldn't want... I, I wouldn't just want to stay like that, having forgotten about them all. It's just too sad. I see. I suppose so. Hey, Huyaki-kun. What is it? If we manage to get out of here, will you help me get my get back my memory? Because I'll also help you out remember me your memories, Huyaki-kun, okay? Okay, I promise. So then, let's get out get out here for sure, the both of us. Yes, let's get out here. And uh, get out together for sure. Now what to do from here? Talk to Mew. For a while I've been able to go on to the next place by solving some puzzle, but what's with all this? I guess there really might be someone here in this mansion, right? That might not be it, perhaps. Why? I don't quite know, but I get the feeling there's nobody but us two here. Certainly there is no presence of anyone here, but instead there are stalls and wolves around here. Will we really be able to get out if we just continue like this? But there isn't any other way. Besides, maybe there's a way for us to go, right? I'd certainly like to believe that. 
Well, if she still has dialogue. For a while. Ah. You said you lived in this mansion, but do you remember anything about it? Uh, I don't remember anything, but I at least somehow know that I did live in this mansion. Anything else you remember? Nothing. Isn't it really difficult like that? Uh, I'm alright. Well, I guess that's fine then. Huyuaki-kun, are you a middle schooler? A high schooler? Mm, no, I'm in high school. I'm in my second year. I see, that's amazing. Though you say that, you don't look much different in age from me, do you, Miu? Eh? I... I guess? You don't even remember your own age. Uh, seems like I don't remember. I see. Miu, aren't you cold wearing that light clothing? It's winter right now, you know? It's winter right now? So you don't even remember that? Even so, to spend all winter in a one-piece clothing like that re seems really curious. Do you have anything beneath that? Well, nothing but underwear. Please don't make me say something embarrassing. Ah, uh, yes, my bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Though, it doesn't feel go cold. Well, certainly I can't feel coldness in this mansion. I guess this really is a quite strange place. I wanna search around. Really? Up, up, up. Huh? Your way of talking is a little like that of an adult, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> I seem like an old guy, she says. Though I don't seem to talk like one of your age, so I just thought that you seem cool talking like that. <laughs> what is it, Huyoki-kun? No, it's, it's nothing. Miu, you do like to cook, right? Yes, but I can't do difficult things. It's amazing how you're able to do so at all. If I were to cook, I'd turn everything into kitchen waste, so I have to praise you. Is that so, maybe? <laughs> but you seem not to have forgotten that you like cooking. Is it because it's your body that remembers it or something? I do wonder, though it doesn't feel like I've forgotten it. So maybe there's still some things she remembers in part. Well, I think that is enough of chatting. About time to leave. Maybe it's time for us to go. Are you able to walk? Yes, I'm alright. Let's go. Certainly, the door on the upper side side should have also opened. Let's go over there. Let's see. Where the fuck am I? On the other side. Do you mean like this? I would really want to save. Is there a safe point down here? Yes. Okay guys, I'll end this episode in here. I hope this isn't way too long. If it is, I'm sorry. Um, this is a pretty cool game, even though the grammar is bad, but still it is so mysterious and nice and I like the art and everything. So I'm happy I found this game and I decided to play it. It's really cool. Bye bye! Because love's not big enough